All right, my name is Michael Clark. I'm an adventure sports photographer. We are here in Rifle Mountain Park in Colorado doing a rock climbing shoot today, and I just thought I'd share with you the gear that I brought. So today I have with me, in terms of camera gear, I have a DSLR kit and I have a medium format digital camera. I have the Nikon D4, which is the pro body, and then I also have a Nikon D810, which is probably what I'll use most of it today, just because it's higher resolution. I have a 24 to 70, your basic lens, a 14 to 24, which is a stellar wide angle lens. Then I have a 70 to 200, for if I'm a little farther away, like shooting across the canyon today here in Rifle. I have a Hoodman loop. When you're outdoors using lighting, it's kind of hard to see what's going on with the shadow, so this way I can really see the back of my LCD really clearly. I also have the Skyport Plus HS transmitter for the Inland Chrome strobes. Some memory cards. All of my cards are Sony XQDs or SanDisk, Compact Flash, or SD cards. And there are some shoots where I want this waterproof. So that's why they're in plastic baggies. That's just a super light way of protecting them. Got a couple extra batteries, one extra battery for each camera. And I've got a light meter. This is a, the new Sekonic meter that works with my Lincrome strobes. Which for high sync, I can't use this, but you know, if we're doing portraits and stuff. I also have the teleconverter here, 1.4X teleconverter, and a lens cloth and a lens pen. So those come in handy when you're just on a climb trying to clean your lenses. For water, I have this platypus a water bottle that's really moldable, so it fits in your pack really well. They're also super lightweight water bottles. I've also got a rain jacket here in the top of the pack. I've got sunglasses, a headlamp, and some cliff bars. So a little bit of food out here for the day. And that's pretty much it for this pack in terms of DSLR stuff. For the medium format gear, I have with me a full Hasselblad kit. I have the H5D, which is a 50 megapixel camera. Then I have a 100 millimeter lens, 150 millimeter lens, 24 millimeter lens, and the big giant 50 to 100, which is massive. And for the Hasselblad, you know, I can shoot rock climbing with the Hasselblad. It just depends, because it's a fairly slow moving sport. Um, but for portraits and stuff like that as well, I'll probably opt for this guy, wherever it seems like it can work. Got a few extra batteries. I also have a teleconverter actually for this as well. It's a 1.7 teleconverter. It's ultimate resolution, incredible image quality that's above and beyond my Nikons. So that's why I have this in addition. It's also, I bring this because the flash syncs, I can use leaf shutter to sync up to 800th of a second and I get the full burst of the flash. So in some situations, it's actually a better solution to then get more power out of the flashes. And I also have a separate Skyport Plus transmitter for this camera because it's set up on the speed mode, whereas I'm in normal mode for my DSLRs. And then there's just a few extra batteries. So, and it's in this Pelican case, which is like, I think it's the 1510 roller case with the Trek Pack inserts, which make it really easy to adjust this and move things around. So whenever I'm lighting on location, it always involves a lot more gear. You know, if I'm just coming out here to do a rock climbing shoot with available light, I'll just have my climbing gear and maybe one or two cameras and a few lenses. Anytime you bring lighting into the equation, you start getting a whole bunch of other stuff because you need the strobes, then you need stands, then you need assistance to carry all this stuff. You know, we're here in Rifle where literally you park the car, you get out of the car and 20 feet away is where you start setting up. So it's very easy for lighting. For this, we're using the ELB 1200s. We've got two ELB 1200 kits here in these nice bags that are really tough actually. We've got one kit that's set up with the high sync heads and the ELB 1200 here. Uh, so there's two heads and one pack in each of these bags. This one's set up with ELB 1200 pack and also the two action heads. So the high sync heads I would use for when I'm lighting a climber who's really far away, like 60 to 100 feet away. Um, the action heads, I'd use those if I'm shooting with the medium format kit or if I'm doing portraits. Although I can do portraits with these as well, it just depends on how I'm shooting. You know, if I want to shoot at f1.4 at 3,000th of a second on my DSLRs, I'll use the high sync for the portraits as well. So in addition to these lighting kits, I have extra batteries, so we have plenty of power to get us through the day no matter what we do. And on the lights, these high performance reflectors really help push the light out really far and direct it. And there, you know, it's a pretty hard light source, but if you're going pretty far, the light spreads and it's a little less harsh if you're shooting from pretty far away. I also have a standard reflector here in the plastic bag that we can put grids in. So we can really 
you know, shoot a really narrow beam of light across a climb. And then I also have this little Elastolite Easy Balance, which is like a, it's a white balance disc. So if I'm doing portraits, I typically will do this and have the subject hold it, take a picture of this, get the white balance in camera, and then just keep on shooting. So in addition to the lighting gear here and the camera gear, I have stands. And I have a whole host of stands here, actually. I've got an umbrella, this is a gel kit. I've got three of these Manfrotto stacker stands. These are flags that you can use in the field. They set up really easily. We won't typically use those for rock climbing, but we might use them for the portraits. I also carry, you know, just canvas bags. And we can fill these with rocks and they'll be the sandbags we put on the stands. So if we don't have to carry sandbags around with us. Just a few basic stands. And for rock climbing, you know, honestly, you might use stands if you've got the gear, the light on the ground. But today we're gonna to try and get the light on level with the climber or above. So we'll have an assistant who's holding the lights for a good chunk of the day. I also have one of my favorite soft boxes from Lincrome, which is the Deep Octa. It's kind of a, it's an octabank. It's a small light box, it's nice and portable, but it gives a really amazing quality of light, especially for portraits. Last bit of photo gear that I have is a tripod. And it's a Gitto tripod with an Acrotec head on it. I'm not probably gonna use a tripod much. If I shoot with a Hasselblad, I try to use a tripod just to get sharper images. In addition to all the photography gear, I do have quite a bit of climbing gear. I think I've got two different harnesses, two sets of knee pads. I've got stuff for myself and for my assistant. Um, knee pads really come in handy because you're Lean against the rock, you sometimes have your knees up against the rock and just you shred your pants if you don't have knee pads and it makes it a lot more comfortable. So I have a rope, um, it's a static line. And then, you know, we clamp these onto the rope and ascend the rope. And the beauty of these is that these are black diamond ascenders. These are made from black diamond. Petzl makes some of these. There's lots of companies make these. They clamp onto the rope. They have teeth here, as you can see. And once you clamp onto the rope, you can fully let go of these. You'll have two of them on the rope, you're clipped in. It allows me to photograph without having to hold onto the rope and be pretty much anywhere on the rope I want to be. It's almost impossible to shoot climbing from above without a pair of these. In terms of climbing gear, I've got a whole truckload of climbing gear here. We are sport climbing today, so I don't need necessarily a whole bunch of the traditional climbing gear, but I've got belay and rappel devices. I've got extra quick draws with carabiners on them and then a whole massive webbing to set up the anchors on the climbs. And also, because everything I take up on the rope will be lashed or clipped into me. So I'll have some of these runners set up that are clipped into my camera, clipped into my camera bag, clipped into anything else I'm carrying with me. You know, for the, my assistant carrying the lighting gear, we'll, we'll make sure we clip in the ELB 1200 and the flash head, and we'll put the pack in a protective padded pouch, and this whole pouch will be clipped in as well just so we don't drop anything because we don't want to injure any other climbers or our climbers that we're working with. So that's kind of critical. And this looks pretty contrived, but this is a first aid kit. The reason it's in these plastic bags is just for it being lightweight. I mean, there's scissors in here, there's gloves, there's an EpiPen, there's all kinds of different things in here. Ibuprofen, some drugs, um, some bug repellent. Just, you never know what could happen out here. And this is not for like, if somebody falls off the cliff, that we would need a heck of a lot more than this. Uh, but just if you stub your toe or cut your finger or something, we can at least address that with this guy. So this is pretty much all the gear I have today for my rock climbing shoot. You know, if I was doing something that was farther away from the car, here in Rifle Canyon, the road is basically right next to the cliff, so you can get stuff out of the back of your car. But if we were in Yosemite or some other place and we had to hike a long ways with the lighting gear, you know, I'd definitely have a much bigger backpack and be carrying ropes, hardware, all the climbing gear, plus a camera and two lenses maybe and maybe one pack in one head, water, you know, rain jacket, clothes, food, all in that big pack, and that pack would probably weigh 80 to 90 pounds. And that's pretty standard for photographing climbing. It's kind of brutal on the body. Um, but since we're so close to the road, it's beautiful because we can bring everything. We can really set up the lighting in a way, you know, that you may not be able to if you're farther away from the car. We'll get rolling here and we're gonna meet the climbers and explore the canyon a bit and find out which routes they want to do and then also which routes will work best for what we're trying to do with the light and uh, craft hopefully some really exciting images.